So what is Greater Tuna? Good morning, Tuna. This is Thurston Wheeler. And this is Arliss Struvy. this is the Wheeler Struvy Report. Greater Tuna is a day in the life of the fictional town of Tuna, Texas. Tuna, Texas is a great small town. It's basically where the Lions Club is too liberal and Patsy Cline never dies. I've heard this is one of the most produced plays in the United States. And the reason for that is because, I believe, because of the writing. Greater Tuna was written in the 80s by uh, a couple of local guys. It was written as a uh, sort of satire uh, or caricature of small town life in Texas. All the characters that you see in the show, you can say, oh, that's like my aunt such and such, or my cousin so and so, or, or this and that. I feel very close to this show because uh, I see these, these characters, these zany characters, and I, I know quite a few of them personally. That's what endears it to people, is that you can connect with the characters. You feel like you almost know them by the end, and, uh, and it kind of teaches people, it, it sees things from a different perspective. I think it helps in that regard. That's why it's been so popular, in my opinion. The play uh, has two men playing all 20 roles. I divorce your ass. Some highlights, uh, Petey Fisk, uh, the Bue Miller children, there are three, Stanley, Charlene, and Jody. My favorite character would have to be Vera Karp. Uh, she is this church lady. The characters in the show are definitely characters. Um, uh, some of my favorite ones, uh, Aunt Pearl, or uh, Pearl, she's a, a sweet old grandmother, uh, but she has a bit of a psychopath side to her. Also, uh, the Reverend Spikes is this big, boisterous, very loud personality. And uh, Bertha, she's the mother of, of three kids also in, in the show. And uh, Bertha is one that uh, a lot of people can sympathize with. I could kill that damn Petey Fist. Now it's not just about uh, playing 10 characters each, it's also about you know, going backstage and quickly changing uh, into different costumes and different uh, wigs and different uh, accessories. Going between one costume to the next, sometimes we have as few as three lines uh, to go from one to the next and that's just been uh, somewhat of a whirlwind. That person just went out that door and just came in that door very quickly and they're dressed differently. How did they do that? It's a feat of technical theater. They are constantly changing in and out of costume and in and out of character, uh, which brings a whole new level of comedy uh, to the show. But sweetheart, your breakfast is getting cold! Mama, come up here and get this dog out of my room! The costume department has just been incredible throughout the uh, rehearsal process. It's been a great experience just to watch them work and be a part of that. I'm really just so thankful uh, to be a part of this team. Our audience members should expect to have a hilarious uh, comedy on stage here at the historic Granbury Opera House. It's family friendly, it's exciting, it's hilarious. There's certain things that we say to each other that you might start repeating to, to your family and friends after the show. It's a wild ride. It's an absolute wild ride just to watch. It is. 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 It is.